guys, it's Josh with Genie Bidet. I'm here today to show you how to install your brand new Genie Bidet, as well as to talk a little bit about bidets, uh, dispel some of the myths, uh, you know, people get kind of freaked out on them, and uh, also show you how we can get this thing installed with uh, only two tools in under 10 minutes. Uh, when you open up the box, it's going to come with instructions. They're pretty clear on how to install, but we'll cover everything here. The parts, all the parts that you need, as well as the seat itself. This is the elongated model. This is for our elongated toilet. We also offer a round one. We'll cover that later. All right, first things first, guys. This is the adapter. This is what your bidet clicks into. Um, you're going to put these, the, the grips, down, and you're going to line it up as best as possible with the two holes in your toilet, and you want it scooted forward as far as possible. Next step, you're going to put in these metal brackets. These go in like that, and they line up with those holes as well. And then you're going to put these screws in, just drop them in, and then you're going to put on these butterfly nuts. Now uh, it does come with these anchors. These are only for if you don't have access to underneath your toilet to remove your seat. Um, it's not very common, it's really only one piece toilets. Uh, don't use these if you have just a regular toilet. Use the butterfly nuts, they're just better. All you're going to do is just screw them in. So this is the T-connector we created. Um, uh, we've added a couple features to it over some of the older styles. Uh, the main one is the on-off switch. This allows you to turn water off from the source so that the bidet won't work once it's turned off. Uh, this is to help prevent things like, like kids, pets, gremlins from messing with your bidet, um, you know, getting water everywhere. Uh, it, it's just a nice feature. It was a highly requested one. Um, once you go to install this, make sure this black gasket is seated in there really nicely. Uh, it has to go in there, otherwise it won't function properly. And then some people will note that this is a, a plastic neck. Uh, we did that because most fill valves now on the toilet, on the tank itself, are also plastic. It just makes for a better uh, and connection that doesn't crush threads or anything like that. Uh, this is the pressure regulator. Uh, it's designed to uh, reduce the flow of the bidet, but if you're in a house that has low water pressure, you're probably going to want to remove it. In fact, most of our customers prefer to remove it. If you find that the bidet stream is too strong, you can always put it back in. But uh, we want you to get an effective clean, so just go ahead and take that out with some needle nose pliers, and you're all set. All right, guys, next step is to attach the hybrid T connector uh, to your toilet valve. Uh, it's really simple. It's got this plastic top to make it easy. Uh, just make sure the black gasket's already in there. Uh, if not, it'll be in the bag. You'll just insert it in, make sure it's seated correctly. And you're just going to put it on. Uh, there's no need to tool tighten it. Um, we specifically made this plastic neck uh, with the nubs to grab, so you can just hand tighten it on. And once that's on, you're then going to connect uh, the, the flexible water valve. Um, yours is probably going to have a white top as well instead of a silver, but either way, it just connects to the bottom. And uh, if you do have a metal uh, water valve, you're going to want to um, you're going to want to tool tighten it. Uh, but if you've got a plastic one, there's no need. And the last step is just to put on the bidet hose. And this one, you're probably going to want to tool tighten. So the way you're going to do this is uh, get it, you know, tighten it down with your hands as much as possible. And then just take some pliers or a wrench and just give it an extra, you know, like quarter, half turn or something like that and that'll be on there. And now with the on off, down is on, sideways is off. Now it'll still let water into the tank, but it'll stop water from going into the bidet. You know, it'll stop those uh, pesky kids from bideting your whole bathroom. All right guys, uh, on to the last step. Uh, I have installed the water supply hose into the bidet uh, before putting it on the toilet. Uh, it just depends on the shape of your toilet. Sometimes it's easy to do one as opposed to the other. Um, I've also tightened down this bracket uh, so that it's very secure. So when I attach the bidet, the bracket's not going to move at all. And here's the installation. It's very complicated. Watch closely. And there we go. That is installed. Now, this is the cool part. When you want to clean this bidet, all you have to do is push the button on the side, slide it right off. And there you go, that's the button right there. 
Just for your pleasure, uh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek on what the bidet looks like uh, in use. Now, I put down some plastic wrap just for the sake of not getting sprayed, and uh, we are going to slowly turn it up. So, as you can see, it starts pretty low, and then you can really crank it up if you want, like a really cleansing experience. Uh, and then you see that it drifts down, that actually cleans the nozzles on the way back up. So it's kind of a cool feature. And uh, that's all, folks. Congratulations on your new wash lid by Toto. You've chosen the best in the business, and installing it properly will let it work as well as it's been designed. This video shows installation of the S300E washlet, but the steps are similar for the S350E and the newer B100. Electrical code requires a ground fault 120 volt outlet for bathroom appliances, and one needs to be within reach of the three foot cord that comes attached to the washlet. Make sure that you have all the parts required for installation. And here are the tools you're going to need. First, remove the old toilet seat and clean the surface around the mounting holes. Install the washlet seat mounting bracket. Using a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the screws, make it just snug enough to allow movement so you can adjust it to align the seat. Place the washlet seat onto the toilet and slide it back into the bracket until you hear it click. There, you've got it. Adjust the seat, including the bracket, by sliding it front to back and side to side to center the seat over the rim. With the washlet seat centered, release the seat from the bracket, tighten the bracket, and replace the seat. Shut off the water supply, flush the toilet to relieve the pressure, and disconnect the supply tube from the valve. Now it's time to complete the water connection. Next, being careful not to cross thread the nut, screw the washlet junction T onto the fill valve. Finger tight is enough. Do not over tighten. One end of the white connection supply line will already be attached to the washlet. The other end of the supply has a gray tip with an O-ring inside a white plastic nut. Push this gray plastic tip into the threads on the supplied junction T until the O-ring engages. Then hand tighten the white plastic nut. Now you're ready to turn the water back on and check for leaks. Fantastic! And finally, plug the unit into the ground fault outlet and turn it on with the button on the left side. The LED lights on the rear of the washlet seat to let you know all is ready. With fresh batteries in the remote control unit, use your left hand to press down on the rear left side of the seat. This will make the washlet think that someone is seated to test the remote. Be sure to use your right hand to block the spray from the wand so you won't get wet. Your new washlet has a variety of gentle cleansing modes. Check the owner's manual for the full descriptions of each mode and to learn more about the eWater Plus cleansing functions of the S300E and the S350E washlet. Find a good place for the remote and you've done it. Your Toto washlet is installed and ready for use. Today I'm going to show you how to install a bio bidet. We chose the BB1000 for this installation because the installation process for this bidet is similar to all of our electronic models such as the BB800, 600, 400 and our USPA 6800. And now let's get familiar with the installation parts. Here they are. Catch plate, two mounting bolts and their guides, a T-valve with the conversion nut, and two water supply hoses. We have this set up here for an easy demonstration. Now let's get started with the installation. First thing you need to do is turn off the water valve. Next thing you need to do is drain the water from the toilet tank, simply just by flushing it. 
remove the existing water hoses. There might be a little bit of water left over, so have a towel ready. Check your shutoff valve size. If it's 3 8 use a 3 8 conversion nut. If it's half inch, just use the standard T-valve. You have two water hoses supplied. The shorter one connects from the top of the T-valve to the toilet water tank fill valve, and the longer one connects to the side of the T-valve to attach to the bidet later on. Remove the existing toilet seat. Place the catch plate over the mounting holes. Place the mounting guide concave side up. Insert the mounting bolts. Secure the catch plate by tightening the mounting bolts. Make sure the bidet is lined up with the catch plate and slide it in until it clicks. To remove it, press the release button in and slide it out. Connect the water supply hose to the bidet inlet. Make sure you do not over tighten the connections. Use hand pressure to secure it. Now open up the shutoff valve and check for any leaks. Now the installation is complete. Go ahead and plug it into any GFCI outlet and enjoy. This presentation will provide you with simple step-by-step -step instructions for installing the Lux Bidet cold and hot water models. Our products should fit most standard toilets, but please check this chart in the product description to make sure your toilet can accommodate a Lux Bidet. The tools you'll need are a straight slot screwdriver, and an adjustable wrench. Your bidet kit will include the bidet itself, the white tea adapter, and a cold water connection hose. Included in models with a hot water feature is a hot water line and a metal tea adapter. Before you start the installation, turn your cold water supply off. Then flush the toilet to clear the tank. Remove the seat from your toilet. Place the bidet on the toilet and align the slots in the adjustable plates to match up with your seat anchor bolts. Then reattach the seat. Using a wrench, disconnect your water supply hose from your tank. Before installing the plastic T adapter, make sure the black rubber washer is properly seated. Screw the wide opening of the T adapter to the threaded stem at the bottom of your toilet tank. Reattach your water supply hose to the bottom threaded stem on the T-adapter. Attach the metal hose to the side stem of the T-adapter. Attach the other end to the cold water stem on the bidet. Make sure the connection is tight, but do not over-tighten the nut. If the bidet has no hot water feature, your installation is complete. To install a hot water connection, begin by turning your hot water off at the supply nearest the toilet. Disconnect your faucet supply hose from your hot water valve. Before installing the metal tea adapter, make sure the rubber washer is properly seated. Screw on the tea adapter. Then reconnect your hose to the tea adapter's threaded stem. Slide the nut onto the plain end of the hose. Press the end of the hose onto the barb on the T-adapter. Then tighten the nut onto the threaded stem. Attach the other end of the hose to the hot water stem on the bidet. Turn your hot and cold water valves back to the on position. And your Lux bidet is ready for use. For any questions regarding your installation, please contact our customer support. Complete hygiene has never been so easy. Join the Wash Don't Wipe revolution. Experience Brondell's Swash Luxury Bidet Toilet Seat. Easily self-installed, the Swash provides a luxurious upgrade to your existing toilet. The Swash has been specifically engineered for North American toilets with a sleek shape for a perfect toilet fit and a hidden pocket to ensure that the electrical cord and water hose stay tucked out of sight. The design is like nothing else on the market, blending into the decor of any bathroom. Stainless steel has proven to be more hygienic and longer lasting than industry standard plastic. That's why we use stainless steel for our dual nozzle system. Fresh aerated water flows through the nozzles, providing both posterior and feminine washes. Each nozzle is